What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So quick little story time before we get started. Basically, about a year ago when I was a very small channel, when I was just starting out on YouTube, I made this Optimal Realm of Gods team video and it was the first video on my channel that kind of started getting traction. And by traction, I mean like it got over a thousand views, which at the time was massive for me because I believe I had less than 50 subs and any video I made that got more than 100 views was huge, right? So this video ended up getting, I believe like somewhere in the range of 7,000 views or something like that, which was super, super exciting for me. So the Realm of Gods category as a topic and the video in general is very near and dear to my heart because I feel like that really was a launching pad for my channel. And I think about a year later, it's time that we made an update to the video. So during my research, I just so happened to find this really, really awesome tier list by Reddit user RattlerZZ. So, I mean, I took a look through it and I think that it's really, really accurate, really, really good. I agree with like pretty much everything that's on it. So I thought I would share it with you guys today and just hopefully help those of you who are having a little bit of trouble building a Realm of Gods team, build the best possible team that you can, and also, hopefully just by watching this video, you'll learn something. And of course, like I said, all credit goes out to Reddit user RattlerZZ. He made the tier list. He or she, I'm not really sure, but this person made the tier list. It's really good. Keep doing what you do, and uh, all credit goes out to them. Thank you so much for making this video possible. But we're gonna start off with the tier list itself. And one little thing I want to mention is that they actually included every single form of the transforming AGL Goku and put them in different places on the list. I totally understand why they did that because every single form is kind of like its own unique unit, right? But at the same time, you can't really pick and choose which form you want to run on the team because if like you can't be like, oh, I want the Godku version of the transforming Goku or I want the blue version. It would be awesome if we could, but we can't. So uh, we're not going to pay too much attention to that because it doesn't really help a lot with team building. But like I said, I totally understand why they did that, so that's cool. But okay, enough rambling for me. I think I've gone on for long enough. Let's just jump right into the tier list, starting with the top of the tier list, uh, the Z tier. And these are the best possible units you can run on the team. We're starting with UI Goku as the leader. Of course, can't go without him. Uh, we have Tech Vegito Blue, still the hardest hitting TUR in the entire game. We have uh, STR Rose, absolute beast, really good support for extreme units. We have LR Vegito Blue, can't say enough good things about this guy. He hits super hard, he tanks super hard, and he's also a free-to-play unit. Mostly, mostly a free-to-play unit. Some people might say, oh, fierce battle units, it's just like not super free-to-play, but I'm going to consider him free-to-play. He's amazing. SSB Vegeta, not available on Global yet, but of course, if you have him on JP, definitely run him. We have STR Jiren, um, God of Destruction Topo, excellent support unit. Uh, West Supreme Kai, by far the best support unit for this category. Of course, not available on Global either, but if you have uh, this card on JP, definitely include it. It's the best support, 40% uh, attack and defense to all Realm of Gods units, as well as plus 7% chance to crit. We have uh, STR Godku. Wait, is that STR Godku? I believe that's STR Godku. It could be AGL. No, it's STR. It's STR Godku. <laughs> and uh, this is the best linking partner for UI Goku. Um, he gives UI Goku 55% attack, which is the highest of uh, in terms of links that any unit can give him. And then we have two forms of the transforming Goku, the Godku version and the blue version. And uh, lastly, he also included LR Goku Black, who of course is an amazing LR. Hits extremely hard, still one of the best healers in the game. And uh, of course, amazing synergy with the STR Rose. So that is the Z tier, guys. If you have those units or have like six of those units, then you're pretty much set as far as a Realm of Gods team goes. We're gonna move one tier down now to the S plus tier, and we have AGL Rose, who is still very strong, even though he got replaced by the STR one. He by himself is still very strong, and if you don't have the STR one, you can run him as well. We have uh, Physical Vegito Blue, still a really good unit. Of course, not not nearly as a as hard of a hitter as the uh, Tech Vegito Blue, but those counters make up for a lot of the damage that's lost. And he is a good tank, of course, with damage reduction, excellent unit. And we have the SSJ3 form of the Transforming Goku. Now we're at the S tier, and in the S tier we have LR Beerus, who of course is a little bit of a you know I think people don't really regard him as highly as a lot of the other LRs and. 
there's good reason. He's not the best LR, but he's still an LR nonetheless, and he's still gonna do very good damage. And uh, I believe he also heals. I'm not 100% sure. I think he heals, but I could be wrong, so don't take my word for it. But uh, like, I, like I said, good unit. Maybe not the best LR, but still a really good unit. We have STR Vegito, uh, I mean, uh, Goku, Blue Goku, who, you know, after his awakening got very, very good. He can hit really, really hard. Um, so he's a good unit. We have Int Vegeta, Blue Vegeta. We have, oh, this one's the AGL Godku. Um, Tech Fused Zamasu. The Transforming AGL Goku, two different forms. We have uh, Physical Kami, who is a really good support. We have Int Whis, who is a very good support as well. STR Blue Vegeta, um, AGL Blue Vegeta, AGL Blue Goku, and TUR uh, LR Rose. So the TUR version of LR Rose. So that's your S tier right there. Anything I'd say S tier or above. They're all good choices. Of course, ideally you want to run a team of the best possible units. So Z tier, you know, six units from the Z tier is the best possible scenario. But let's say you don't have some of those. You want to pick from the S plus tier or the S tier. That's good as well. So anything S or above, I think it's really, really good. Now we're going to move one down to the A tier. You have uh, SSBKK Goku. We have, I believe that's Int Godku. We have uh, Int Zamasu. We have Supreme Kai. We have STR Beerus, and we have, is that TUR LR Beerus? Yeah, I think that's TUR LR Beerus. So, you know, those are some good options as well. Not as good as S tier, but some of them are still very strong. Like SSBKK, in my opinion, is still a very good unit. I think he's very underrated, and he's, you know, an older unit, but I still think he's very strong. And he can still easily, easily clear a million damage on Super AGL or Realm of Gods, especially. He can clear like 1.5, sometimes even 2 mil with the crits, so. Those are some good units. And then, you know, below there, those they're not the best choices after that. Like anything below A tier is really not the best case scenario. You don't really want to run them if you don't have to, but they are still options. They're still there if you just need some a few fillers. If you're just missing some of the better units in this category. Um, I'm not you know what I'm not I'm not gonna really go through all of them. I'm just gonna show you guys what they are. We have B tier and C tier, and then you can make your own decision about whether or not. Whoops, I just punched the mic. My bad. <laughs> You can make your own decision about whether or not you want to run them, right? So for B tier, we have um, Physical Goku Black. We have things like, I believe that's Tech Beerus. We have STR Zamasu. Uh, we have Weirus, things like that. And then for C tier, which is the very bottom, ideally don't want to run them, but if you have to, then you can include them. We have the Physical Godku. We have Physical, um, I believe that Physical Blue Goku, who doesn't have an Awakening yet, but I do expect him to get an Awakening soon, so he could actually move up on the tier list if he gets a really good Awakening. Uh, we have various kinds of Weeses, we have Demigra, we have the Free-to-Play Jiren, so those are some options. Oh, also the Tech uh, Beerus that, that Doken Awakens from the SR Tech Beerus, so there are your options. Um, and then Honorable Mentions, we have the Physical UI Goku, who it's interesting he included that, I'm not really sure why, because of course you can't run this, I'm pretty sure you can't run this UI Goku with the uh, Int one, but I guess maybe if you don't have the Int UI Goku, then you can run the physical one as a, um, I guess, secondary leader or something like that, so maybe maybe that's why it's there in the Omino mentions, and then LR Vegito, of course, is an amazing Int unit, and UI Goku does provide a boost to Int units as well, so you can include LR Vegito if you're missing some Realm of Gods units. Uh, we also have SSJ3 Bardock, amazing int unit as well. And then um, SDR, no, not, why am I saying SDR? Int Gogeta. I think I had SDR Gogeta on my mind, but I'm talking about Int Gogeta, of course. Int Gogeta is what you see. So there you guys have it. We have all the tiers that we just went through, as well as the honorable mentions. Now, what we want to do now is move on to the best lineups possible. So he provided three different lineups. I keep saying he. I don't even know if Rattler ZZ is a guy or a girl, but <laughs> I'm going to say them. I'm going to say them just to be to be safe. Um, Rattler ZZ provided three different possible lineups. So at the top, UI Goku, we have Tech Vegito Blue, STR Rose, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, LR Rose, and finally Supreme or West Supreme Kai. So that is the best case scenario. If you're on JP, you have all those units, then that's the team you want to run. But we move below that and we can also include uh, LR Vegito instead of Tech Vegito Blue. And Tech Vegito Blue actually, or LR Vegito Blue actually, I believe, links better overall with the team. So, I mean, the, the damage initially is going to be higher. 
Tech Vegito Blue eventually is going to out damage LR Vegito Blue, but I mean, you can't really go wrong with either one. So the the top, the, like the very top line is good, but if you want to do the second line with the LR Vegito Blue instead, I don't think you can go wrong with that. And I personally will probably be running the LR Vegito Blue. Well, that's what I usually run anyways. And uh, lastly, at the bottom, we have UI Goku, Tech Vegito Blue, STR Rose, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and we have STR Jiren and Topo, uh, God of Destruction Topo. So I guess that would be for people who don't have the LR Rose or I guess that's it. Yeah, if you don't have LR Rose, maybe instead of a Rose and a West Supreme Kai, you want to run the Topo and the um, STR Jiren instead. And those are all really good options. At the very top is the best case scenario, but the other two can't go wrong with those as well. And of course, if you're missing things from these best lineups, then just go pick from the Z tier or the S tier or, or S plus tier or S tier, depending on which unit you have. And those ones will slot in as well for the ones that you're missing from the best lineups. Okay, two more things, guys. We've got hardest hitters and rotations. Let's go with the rotations first. Best possible rotations on this team are by far UI Goku plus Tech Vegito Blue. Now, if you don't have Tech Vegito Blue, like I said, STR Godku is UI Goku's best linking partner. So maybe you can throw him in there and link him up with UI Goku. That's a great rotation as well. But UI Goku and Tech Vegito Blue is going to be an extremely hard hitting uh, rotation. So that's one rotation right there. And the other rotation you want. I don't think it's gonna come as a surprise to anyone. You have STR Rose and uh, LR Rose because they're basically the same guy. Right? They're basically the same guy. They have amazing link synergy together and they both uh, boost each other. Especially Rose gives the plus 50% defense as well as plus 3T. And of course, like I said, links are really good. So really good rotation right there. Those are the two rotations you wanna be running when you are running the optimal one. And of course, if you don't have those guys, you know, you guys will have to change it up a little bit. But if you have these units, then UI Goku, Tech Vegeta Blue, and STR Rose and LR, uh, LR Rose are definitely the best rotations. And then lastly, the hardest hitters. It's not like super helpful, but it's good to know, I guess, in a, in a sense. We have LR Vegito Blue and Tech Vegito Blue. So the two Vegito Blues are the hardest hitters on this team. Can't argue with that. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it with the tier list, guys. I think I rambled a little bit when it came to, comes to the explanation of these things, but that's how it can be sometimes. That's just kind of my style. Hope you guys are okay with that. And hopefully this video helped you, like I said. Uh, I just made this video because I was thinking of doing an update to my old video from about a year ago, the first video on my channel that kind of got traction, and now a year later, we have this update, and Rattler's Easy really helped a lot in putting this together. And I honestly can't argue with 99% of the choices they made here, so this is a really fantastic list, and hopefully it helps some of you guys build the best Realm of Gods team you possibly can, and maybe just learn something else from this, from watching this video as well. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. Hope you guys found the video useful. As as always if you guys like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and also while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content because youtube can be pretty damn dumb sometimes let's be real so just make sure you hit that notification bell so that we're all good to go in that department and that's all from me hope you guys have a fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.